folks, welcome to Saving Miller. I thought some of you are going to enjoy seeing my Miller 215 in action here, and I, it, it'll give you an example of why this is a great machine. Now, I wish I had some flux, flux core wire, but I don't. Um, I decided to go with solid wire and the bottle of uh, Argon CO2 to get a cleaner weld, and it really, it's just night and day way, way, way nicer. And I'll show you the weld once we get to it. But anyway, I haven't built a cart yet, but I've got a need that affects us on a daily basis. When this tree came down, when we were butchering the chickens, it wrecked the gate here and it tore the latch off. So the latch here does nothing for us. So I'm gonna weld a new catch on there so that um, we don't have to chain it every every time we go through it. We use this gate like six times a day, so we really need to get this done. So first off, I'll show you what we're up against, and then we'll proceed to fix it. So having all this metal fence around is great. It's nice and strong, uh, but it also means you really have to have a welder, especially for this older fence. It's probably 30 years old, and so um, they originally had used this metal strap and just bent a loop out around here um, to close the gate. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to uh, try to cut this off. I'm going to give it a, a basic attempt. If it's too hard, I'll just start my strap right here. Uh, but this is a perfect example of why even on a, a little homestead, you kind of need a welder to do some of these things. You know, wood and wire is great, but it's also really nice to have a mortar durable fence like this. So let's get to it. Okay, now it's cleaned up a little bit. And uh, that'll give us a uh, give us a better spot to weld the new one on. Since I got this thing, uh, when I did the review, I did put a uh, 240 volt plug in the garage, and so I changed out the plug. But since I'm out here, I don't have anything, I don't have a generator yet, so we're going to have to change this thing back to the 110. So I do have the welder unplugged, very important to keep that in mind. It's got a little storage spot for the plug. A little hard to get to with a, an 11 pound spool. got our gas connected. Now when I turn it on the welder automatically sets itself back to the last setting and we're still MIG steel C25 and um, and that refers to the gas. You have 25% CO2 and 75% uh, argon. So we're set for 1 8 inch steel. Uh, that is basically what I have here. And so we're just going to leave those settings in place and it automatically changed itself back to the uh, 120 volt. So, time to proceed here and get this thing welded on here. Once I get this thing done then, we had to install a um, hog panel from here down and so, uh, when we got the puppy. And so, especially on the gate there, it's kind of a nuisance the way it is, so I need to uh, do some work on that and improve that so it's a little 
just so it works a little nicer and so we can get rid of the wire that we have holding it on right now. They're absolutely atrocious. Um, I'm glad I'm outside because there's some nasty fumes coming off of there too. I should probably have used the grinder on there and cleaned it up, but I'm pretty sure this is functional. It's nice and strong. It's going to do fine for us. So now let's get going on some of the wire and the gate here. So I won't bore you too much with this. Um, the wire on the top is already welded on, and so we went along and used wire to fasten some of the rest of this. Um, there's a piece of wire right there. It's kind of hard to see um, So I'm gonna we used the wire so that we could get it into place so that now once I'm ready to weld I can just kind of uh, adjust it slightly and get it into place Okay, so now that we've got that end tightened up, let's, uh, let's get the panel on the gate on. outside is definitely a different story than welding inside on a table so uh, got a lot of a lot of spot welds to make here so I'll get to it and uh, definitely it's uh, it's interesting good learning experience saving Miller out